But I found it very interesting that um, she seemed very like bullied almost by him. Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome back to another live time. My name is Holly, so grateful to have you all. So let's get right into the reading. As I always say, it's intuitive based, it's not fact based. Please don't treat it as like true or false. I also just want to throw in, I do have partially um, a say, you know what I'm saying? Like we have a discussion when I read my tarot. So if you only want tarot, you don't want to talk about personal stories and stuff like that, it's not the time for you. Keep it moving. I just want to let you know because I've had a few comments say focus on the tarot. Tarot is a part of it, but we also talk about our lives. I'd love to hear about your life. You know, I, I have stories that are relatable. That's how I read my tarot. And also, if you want to start your own channel, go ahead. You know, there's no need to be, I feel like sometimes people can be so judgmental. Not necessarily judgmental, but just like, oh, do it like this, do it like that. I love feedback, but feel free if you really want a tarot reader or any kind of YouTube channel to do exactly how you want it to go. It's like your own thing. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. This is Jennifer Garner. This was requested. Past, present, and future. So her sun is in Aries. Her moon is in Gemini. Interesting. Her rising is in Cancer. I've always found Jennifer Garner to be... Um, she seemed very sweet. I used to watch Alias when I was a kid and it was so fun. Um, Alias is that show where she had like, she's like dressed. I feel like Toxic, the music video by Britney Spears was inspired by Alias. I could be wrong, but that's when I saw Alias. I just thought, I mean, when I saw the video for Toxic, it reminded me of Alias. Now, Britney Spears hasn't said that, but that's just what I got. That she used to like change into different things. She was really, really cool. My only thing, I always say this, I think actors and celebrities should stay out of politics unless they want to run for politics. That's a different story. But I just feel like when they like promote a specific candidate or stuff like that, alienate so much of their um, fan base. But that's my only thing about her. I think she seems very sweet. Her energy is very sweet. So with the past, I get the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles, and King of Swords. So I have a feeling. And I get this very strongly. I feel like since she was a kid, people have come up to her, you know, because she has a very sweet aura about her. People have come up to her and said, you know, I think that you'll be a famous actress, blah, 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 blah. And I have a strong feeling there was a male figure in her life, it could have been her dad, that was very connected to like esoteric in a, in a positive way. Um, yeah, esoteric. I do also get religious, so I think they might have had like a real pull of like one side was religious, the other side was very into esoteric. I get Catholic too. Um, yeah, I get Catholic, strong Catholic. I mix up my Christianity, so it might not be Catholic, but I just got Catholic. I'm Protestant, Catholic, Protestant, I got that. So I have a strong feeling that there's been like, um, which I think happens in a lot of families, you know, where there's like a push and pull of like, oh, we're into esoteric, oh, we're into religion. I think a lot of people become very religious because out of fear, you know, and I think that might have happened with her dad. That's what I get very strong. I don't know why I picked that up about him. So the present being, Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Sun. So, I did a reading about, well, a year and a half ago on Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck. And I found it very interesting. A lot of what I predicted came true from that. But I found it very interesting that um, she seemed very, like, bullied almost by him. Um, I'm not a big... Ben, ben Affleck fan, I've never met him, it's just his energy, I don't, it doesn't vibe well with me, but I think very strongly that she's had to really look at her life, and it must be difficult raising children with somebody like him, 
and I only see somebody like him, somebody that's constantly like struggling with addiction issues, constantly in the paparazzi. You could tell she wants to keep a low profile, but he's just like, you know. So, especially with Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands about taking inventory. I think she's had to take inventory of her life and really see, like, take measurements to make herself happy because it can suck you in, you know. I can only imagine seeing the tabloid seeing this seeing that especially since he got married i think she's really every day she wants to make sure that she is her best self and you can see it her smile is so sweet and just her aura like she radiates it's almost like she has a very angelic quality to her so with the future being two of cups the fool and the judgment so I see, like I said, it must be very hard raising children with somebody like Ben Affleck. He seems very body-like, which is the shadow side of a Leo. He's a Leo. Um, and I can see here, and I picked this up in the last reading I did. I'm going to leave a card up for it. It was a long time ago. But I see here still, you know, when you have children, you know, can you waste 18 years? 18 years. And it's a reality. It's like, it's not even 18 years, like when they get married, you know, when your children get married, when this happens, like you're going to celebrate so many big milestones of these precious children that you've had with somebody that you might not get along with and you might really despise. So, I see here that she's had to, she really wants to start a new life, especially when her kids are older, she's going to meet somebody, uh, he's not famous, but it's kind of going to be like a, um, not Cindy Crawford, who's that, uh, actress, uh, uh, she's not, Cindy Crawford's not an actress, but she didn't marry somebody in the limelight, um, uh, Julia Roberts, it's going to be something like that where she marries like a cameraman, and she's really like set free because she feels like she does, she's not on watch i think she constantly feels on watch and that's why she's every day like taking steps to make herself happy and it must be like i said not easy i don't wish it upon anybody raising a child with somebody children with somebody that you dislike but she's taken the high route and she's going to be rewarded for it later so bottom step eight of wands you can see her here she's really focusing on her present and her future see her meditating doing yoga doing things that make her happy taking hikes um even though i can see ben affleck trying to suck her energy you know i strongly believe this is just energetic what i pull that he is an energy vampire. If you don't know about those, I highly recommend YouTubing it. You know, they think they're way less narcissist than people talk about. But as somebody that's experienced some form of narcissistic um, energy in my life, you know, with myself included in that, I've had to do a lot of work on myself because we all have narcissistic tendencies. And I used to have, I wouldn't say strong narcissistic tendencies, but things like, being happy for other people used to be very a huge struggle for me. Um, you know, when I was on my shadow side, I don't actually have that problem anymore. Which is, I was thinking about that the other day. But I used to be competitive in a negative way, and it was very hard for me to be happy for other people. So I only really say that to say that with. Ben Affleck having his like, he's so narcissistic to me from what I can see. He seems very narcissistic, very in his shadow side, very antagonistic, stealing, trying to steal. And these kind of people, they try to steal. And I suppose we've all had that kind of, unless you're actively working on yourself, the darkness, your shadow side, will get the better of you. And I only say that because I feel like sometimes we're like, oh, that person's a narcissist, that person's a narcissist. But I'm like, sometimes we need to work on ourselves. In fact, life is constantly, first starts with us and then others. And I see that with her, she's really, she's doing what is ideal, you know, taking accountability. And he's doing what's not, he's just taking her energy. Anytime she's happy with somebody, he'll, like, show up at her house, stuff like that. That's what I strongly see. 
It's interesting that he's married to JLo, but anyways. I do have a JLo and Ben Affleck update coming soon. So the Chariot Queen of Swords and Four of Cups. There's going to be a time, unfortunately, where she's going to go through struggle. I mean, we all go through struggle. But, and I only send her love because I feel like she kind of beats herself up sometimes for falling for somebody like Ben, you know? And it's a horrible feeling. Poor thing. Oh, gosh. It's a horrible feeling to, to feel like that about you know and i think we've all if you've been an empath somebody that's kind somebody that's always giving you end up falling prey to people like this and it's not a good feeling especially if you have children with them to kind of regret it it's normal but it's not a good feeling because you can fall back into their wing just by being ashamed of even meeting them to begin with do you know what i'm saying i don't know if that makes any sense so the king of pentacles and six of wands i see her the relationship she's going to be in is going to get a lot of headlines obviously and she's going to be very genuinely 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 happy with this person's coming up i say in the next two in the next two years so it will happen in the next year so it could happen from a month to two years she will be with this guy very 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 happy and i'm happy for her so i love you all i would love to have to say but please be respectful take care